year, Kelly Thomas's dad. So yep. let's uh, let's go. How, how do you feel about the investigation right now? I know you have special training as a OC sheriff. So you must know how how many people does a team quickly take to take down a, a person? You know, to put them in handcuffs. Well, it really it just really depends on. I'll, I'll use the term the suspect, their physical condition, their uh, uh, ability to fight, maybe from their own experience or whatever. So all of that comes into play. There, there's no set amount. Um, as far as the training goes, these officers should be highly trained on how to apprehend people. Uh, evidently, they're not. Right. Uh, my son is about 140 pounds, malnutrition, homeless, mental disease, schizophrenic, and one of the kindest guys around, and six of them can't take him down until they kill him. And they're saying they tased him multiple times. They, they beat him with batons. I know they did that. Uh, uh, witnesses state that he was beaten the back of the head with the butt of a flashlight repeatedly after he's already on his face and not moving. What does it take, Fullerton? What does it take? You know, uh, so they don't have the proper training at all. Add a little more twist to your story here, some insight. I'm a martial arts master. I've taught for years police officers arrest and control techniques. Okay. I know what they should have done, and I know what they didn't do. I know what they did. What did they do? They bashed his face and head into the ground severely to the point where he killed him. You know, it, it, it's clearly stated that reasonable uh, force to affect the arrest. So anything that they can consider reasonable force to affect the arrest, it's in their mind. So, instead of just a baton, if they had to pick up a huge club, well, you know, that's, that's all it was going to take here. Well, now they're justified by law and definition. We as the people understand that's not right. Fullerton police were informed by the hospital on Thursday that my son wasn't going to survive in their opinion. At that point, a 42 uh, police captain had called me. In order to keep it very transparent, at that point, they called in the district attorney's office. They are still conducting their own internal investigation, as they must, through internal affairs and that kind of thing. The DA has their own separate investigation going at the same time. I do know that all the information I've been able to gather is the same amount of information that the district attorney's investigators have. So I'm, I'm neck and neck with them currently. Okay. Except I can't go in and say, give me the uh, videotape uh, from various locations. You know, that's their advantage. I know that the district attorney has in fact, uh, their office has in fact reviewed tapes from the buses that were there at the bus station, the uh -huh. video on those. Uh, last I heard they did not have the videotape from the city cameras, Fullerton still has those. Now I know they need it for their investigation, but I don't know why DA doesn't have it yet. Right. Uh, and, I, and I do know of a couple of the cameras in the neighborhood from businesses that I need to make sure that DA has uh, knowledge of.